It is the big one, one o episode 10, and we are in big trouble. Welcome back, guys, to Son of Scotland 90. It is the EFC 24 Hearts Career Mode. We've got our final game in Europe. It won't matter whether we win, lose, or draw, because we cannot get out of this group. And we've had our chances. We've thrown it away. Two draws, three defeats so far. Not good enough. We don't deserve to be in the next round, and we will not be in the next round. However, we can try and end on a mini high, I guess, by winning our first game of the competition. We are taking on the best team in the group by far. It's going to be difficult. They've only conceded one goal, although that goal was against us. So who knows? Maybe we can beat Ghent. We've already got a draw against Ghent, so why can't we get a result? And then after that, we will move on domestically, where we're taking on Livingston, a game that we must win. There's just no doubt about it. We must beat Levy. And then after that, we have a game against Celtic that we also must win. So lots of must-win games coming up for us. Make no mistake about it. We are a team that is in desperate need of victories, and we need a couple of them in this episode. We're currently sitting ninth in the table with 17 points. We need to make sure we catch the teams in front of us as quickly as possible. We're 10 behind Aberdeen. We're 12 behind Hibernian, and we are a whopping, what's that, 19 points behind St Mirren. How did I get this bad, guys? I've no idea. But the good news is with Celtic coming up soon, they've actually went off the boil a little bit. Celtic are beginning to struggle, and you can see they've fallen behind Rangers again after going in front of them. Now, they did beat Hibernian 3-0 in their last game, which was a good result. But in recent weeks, November 5th, they drew against Mullerwell. November 11th, they lost to St Mirren. So there's some, you know, there's some fragi fragility there in between that uh, Celtic defence. They're conceding goals, and hopefully we can make them concede a few more. But like I said, up first, we've got Ghent. No pressure. If we can win, great, but we're not going to play a full-strength team. Then it's Livingston, a game that we must win, and then we move on to the big boys. We're taking on the champions, Celtic. And this is how we will line up then in our last Europa Conference League game. I'm going to give a goal... <laughs> I'm going to give a goal, what the heck, I'm going to give a game to McGovern, yes, Michael McGovern will come in, our third choice goalkeeper, it's probably the only game he's going to get this season, and he is retiring, so I don't want him to play a full season for Hearts without getting one appearance, I don't want to do that to him, and I believe the league games and the Scottish Cup games will be too important, so McGovern comes in, he will be the goalkeeper for this match, it's going to be Kingsley Kent, Halkett Ophir, uh, Devlin Haring, Mackay, Forrest Lowry, and Fargas up front to see what he can do. Can we pull off a big upset and beat Ghent? Let's find out. We'll fight with the ball. Stewart, can Ophai do it? Oh, cuts past his man. He's done well there. Plays it back now to Forrest. It's Peter Haring. Lowry! Edge of the box takes a shot. Saved by the goalkeeper. Decent chance there straight away for Hearts. Mackay comes over to take the corner. What's a good ball in? Kent was going for it. Lowry should be first to retrieve this. Lowry with possession. What can Lowry do? Who can Lowry pick out? Plays it to Forrest. Forrest gets it back to Lowry. Now it's Barry Mackay. Mackay on the ball. Finds Lowry back to Mackay. Mackay cuts inside. Mackay now looking for options. He's got Haring. Haring back out to Kingsley. Can Kingsley with a good left a foot? Ball, and it's a great ball to be fair. It's cleared away by the Ghent defence. And it's going to be Kelly Devlin edge of the box to strike one. Couldn't keep it low. But it's a decent effort. And it's a good start for Hearts. Forrest with the ball now trying to get past Brown. Looking for Ofai. Can't find the pass though. So Ghent win it. And now Ghent looking to get forward. Looking to cause us problems. Down this left hand side. Ball on to Gandelman. Teammates available. Kent still with the ball. Silent, no. And Michael McGovern. We need a save. We need something. And we don't get it. And it's uh, Gherkins with a strike, I think. How the hell do you get called Gherkins? How the heck do you even end up with that name? I don't know. But he's the name that scored the goal. And Michael McGovern, I think, could save it. It's not, it's not a great shot. It's poor defending for us. I'll accept it. I'll admit it. But M Michael McGovern there. Did he... Did he let himself down, did he let us down? I think so. I mean, he's just falling back into the net, it's poor well, goalkeeping. Why is he not this outstretching an arm? I, I just don't understand that. It's 1-0 again. again. I don't think they deserve to be leading, but they have the lead. And we have it all to do. 
Forest finds Fargas. Fargas laying it off to Devlin. Not going to get to that. Is he? Devlin slides in though. Takes it away for Brown. And this could be a chance here. Kiyomi Devlin. Devlin into Wards. I don't know who is it. I don't know. I think it's Forrest. I mean, he must score. Alan Forrest there has to do better than that. What an opportunity. Should be a goal. Oh, no, no. Speaking of opportunities, Ghent coming forward again. Kent needs to do something. Ofai is going to come across. See if he can get rid of Cyprus. Is it to Samose now? Good tackle for Devlin, or is it? They would, oh, I mean, they maintain possession of the ball here. Ofai concedes well, concedes nothing, actually. No we have, we win the goal kick, which is pretty good. We'll be okay here, apart from that really bad moment of defending Forest. where they broke through. We've, we've been decent. Can we get back in the game? Ofai needs to find Fargas. He does. Fargas now lays it off to Forrest. Good by play here. Forrest crosses it in. It's not a bad ball in, but none of the Hearts players were there to take it. How can now bombing forward finds Fargas. Fargas yeah. needs to turn. He does get himself out of trouble, but okay. ends up losing the ball anyway. Great tackle for Frankie Kent. Kent seemed to want a free kick for that, but referee thought he won the ball, so did I. Back to Barry Mackay. Mackay. Back to Halkett. Halkett now going to launch this one forward towards Forrest. Forrest controls it pretty well. Now Forrest trying to get away. Forrest looking for Ovai on the wing. And now, can we pick out a pass? Can we pick out something that's in towards Forrest? Forrest, nice burst of pace. Back post, trying to stab it towards Mackay. Lowry's going to win this header. It's Cammy Devlin. Devlin cuts back again, looks for a cross in. Mackay gets a shot away. It's deflected and we can't take advantage. Still 1-0 to Ghent. It's there for him. Oh, come on! Why are we so shit? Why are we so shit at the back? I don't think... I don't even think it's that bad, to be fair. I know we're sat half him. It's Gherkins again. Get a 2-0 up here. Well, here's the I mean, what is happening? Can the goalkeeper not do a bit better? I mean, that's a shot down the middle of the goal. That's not even in the corner. It's not even in the corner. Naismith's upset, and I don't blame him. I mean, we've given Michael McGovern a chance here. And I think he could have done a lot better with both goals. I'm not saying our defender was good. It was far from it. But Michael McGovern's goalkeeping has not been good either. And that is a big reason why Ghent, in my opinion, are 2-0 up here. As we approach half-time. And honestly, at this stage, is there any way back for us? It's going to be difficult. 1-0 is going to be hard. 2-0 is uh, close to becoming impossible, you feel like. Ball now out to Forrest. Next goal is crucial. It's Ofai. Can we get something going here? Ofai in towards Lowry, and it's another save, and I mean Michael McGovern's no saving name. I tell you what, if we were playing against Michael McGovern, I think we'd have a couple of goals here at least, Barry McKay wins that. Plays it now to Lowry, Lowry. Lowry, gets past his defender, takes a shot, it's took a deflection. Forrest goes down, referee's not going to give anything there, and it will be half time now, surely. Or have Ghent got one last opportunity in them? Do not tell me it'll be 3-0 at the break. We'll try to put a tackle in there. We finally get the ball, but we lose it again. And this could be trouble. It could be trouble. It is trouble. It's 3 0. And it is so undeserved. We do not deserve to be losing here. But we are. And it's a Gherkins hat trick. Gherkins completes a hat trick in the first half. And we've just been cut open again. At that time, I don't expect McGovern to do anything. I really don't. I mean, he's not been able to make any sort of saves, so expecting medical saves probably is not a good idea. But 3-0 at the break. It's, um, look at, look at the stats, though. I mean, come on. Three shots against R6, and they have three goals. That's bullshit. We should be ahead. We've done enough to be ahead. But as always, we're trailing behind. Just not good enough. Not good enough at all. And we need to do better. It has to be better. We have to be better. I'm sick of this shite. I'm absolutely sick of this shite. Good tackle. Lowry now towards Fargas. Fargas going to play it to Kingsley. Kingsley on the overlap. Heavy touch and well, loses the ball. Defeated. Not good enough there. Fargas trying to try and track back. But uh, we need more than tracking back at this stage. We need three goals. Good tackle. Brilliant tackle in fact. Forrest now. Inside to Devlin. Devlin. Fargas is going through the middle. Can he play Fargas? He finds him now. He's having to go a wee bit out wide. Can Fargas do anything for here? It is Forrest to Haring to Mackay 
to Fargas, it's back to Barry McKay. McKay still with the ball. Finds Lowry. Lowry to Haring. Haring. Oh, and Fargas just. I don't know what that is. I don't even know what you call that. Uh, we'll bring on Liam Boyce. Because why not? I mean, Fargas has been a bit of a disaster up front, so. I'm just not seeing it for Kenneth Fargas. I'm really not. I want to see more. I want to believe in the guy. But he's not giving me much to work with right now. Forrest flicks it to Ofai. Ofai. I don't think he's been horrible, to be fair. I will say that about the right back. I think he's been Kent decent. Uh, Kent. Kent to Halkett. What's Halkett got now? Halkett up towards Forrest. Forrest. Alan Forrest turns around, looks towards the Ghent defenders. Plays a That's big a ball out to Kingsley, and he's kept that down. Kingsley does pretty well here, boys. It's, it's back to Stephen Kingsley. He gets a bit of space. He takes a shot, and it's another save from the goalkeeper. But that's a bit more like it, putting pressure on them, right? Let's see what we can do with this delivery. Corner in. We've got Atkinson in there, there's a ball down, and it's a chance, and no one's taking it again. And it's just not been our day. It's not been our day, and it could be getting worse for us. No, good tackle. Ofaye gets back. Wins possession of the ball. Plays it to Forrest. Forrest now back to Ofaye. Ofaye trying to go down the right hand side, but he's taken care of by Ghent. And now we could be looking at an opportunity for Ghent to go 4 0 up. Oh, it's poor defending, and Michael McGovern actually makes a save. Holy crap. Almost shat my pants there. Michael McGovern made, made a save. I was not expecting that. Now it's a ball through to Barry McKay. Can McKay do anything with it? He's going to go on his own. He's going to play it back to Lowry. Lowry still with the ball. Lowry slides in, and. McKay's there, Forrest is there. Forrest with a nasty tackle, and I think he's going to get booked for that. Ghent coming forward once more. Oh, they've taken the ball around just way too easy. They've got numbers, they've got numbers, they've got numbers. Frankie Kent slides in, doesn't get to it, and Michael McGovern this time cannot make a save. We're going to take Lowry up, but let's bring on Grant. Let's try and rest some of these players. It's 4 0 Ghent. It's a, it's a disaster. I mean, look how easily we got cut open here. Oh my god, Kent sliding in. Ah, disaster, guys. We find ourselves now 4 0 behind. We're hoping to win our final European game. Oh, it's not going to happen, I can tell you that. Mackay. Close control dribbling here. Mackay against Fadiga. Mackay whips the ball and back post. Forrest is there. It's going to be towards Boyce. Boyce gets something on it, but not enough. And Mackay slides in. I thought Mackay won the ball, but the referee is not happy and he dishes out a yellow card. Haring wins it, does well. George Grant, who's came on as a sub. George Grant plays it towards Forrest. It's Forrest, turns his back. Now it's George Grant. Grant loses it. Poor for Grant, expect better. George Grant not at the races here. It's a ball, oh, no, and now it's Cypress. Cypress is getting through. If I needs to come across, he's... Done enough, he hasn't done enough, but good defending in the end. Halkett gets back, referee though. I think he's seen something with Stephen Kingsley. Are we going to see a card? No, he just says no more of that, so. Do we bring Oda on? No, the game's done. We don't bring Oda on. What kind of dumb fucking question is that? We just try and see the game. That's what we do for here. Oh, it's cleared off the line. Can McGovern make the save? He can. Oh my, that's... I've made words now. I give up. Let's just move on to the next game. I can't believe. I cannot believe that. Surely McGovern should save it. I mean, uh, your defending is is abysmal. We accept that, but McGovern's di He's diving out of the way of the ball. He's diving out the way. And it's been an easy day here for Ghent, and they are they have destroyed us, no doubt about it. And now it's six 0 Ghent beginning. To turn up the heat, we can't handle the heat. We're melting at the back. I mean, look at that. Ofai sliding in, doesn't get to it. Again, McGovern just in no man's land. Standing there. I think we'd have been better off putting a scarecrow in net today. Might have scared off some of the fucking Ghent players, I don't know. But it probably would have made as many saves as McGovern's have made, so. Yeah, what, what did we do with two minutes to go? I just want the final whistle to come and eat us up. And, and this just puts more pressure on us now. We have to win these domestic games. Well, now it threw it to Kingsley. He's going to try and get it back. It's Boyce. Still Boyce. Boyce trying to get his way through. He does. And then he puts it wide. Liam Boyce on his own. Crafts open an opportunity. And can't hit the target. 
and I think that will put an end to a very disappointing game for us. Referee, just blow the whistle now. What are you waiting on? We don't need to see another minute of this shite. We really don't. Good tackle there, but it's not going to lead to a hearts attack. We've won it back again. And we've lost it again. We've won it back. We've lost it. We've won it back. We've lost it. Finally, we lose the game officially. It's end at six goals to nil. Pieter Gerkins gets the lead or gets the match ball. Hat trick for him. And, uh, you know, and I don't think we deserved that. That was the first half. We would six shots to their three, and it was three nil. I don't quite understand it. Either way, though, Shamrock Rovers beat Ellsberg, so we should have been through. Looking at this group, man, we sh that's a joke. We'll have a final look at the group standings, but we should have been in second place, we can't. It's poor. It's very fucking poor how we have been knocked out with only two draws and no win. We should be beating Shamrock Rovers and Ellsberg. It's, it's simply rotten for us. And Shamrock Rovers beating Ellsberg means they actually get into the next round. So Shamrock Rovers qualify and we don't. That's, that's not even worth thinking about, to be fair. Uh, let's look at the other groups, see how the other Scottish representations did. Um, we'd Aston Filler getting through from England. Uh, who else did we have here? Hibernian got knocked out. They finished third, although look at their group. They had, a, they had a tough group. They had a tough group, and they did pretty well in it. We had an easy group, and we did shite. So, yeah, no, I'm, a, I'm disgusted by our performance in Europe. And I think Aberdeen are already there. Did Aberdeen drop out of the... Maybe they dropped out. Let's check the Europa League. I think Aberdeen have dropped out. Group stage, where are we? Rangers finished second, so they'll be in the preliminary round. Aberdeen. Aberdeen finished third, so they drop into Europa Conference League. That's going to be interesting. So we've got Aberdeen in the next round of the Europa Conference League. What about Champions League? How did Celtic do? Let's see how they got on in the group stages. What was their group like? Ah, so it's the same group as real life. And they finished last, so Celtic are out of Europe. No um, no more football for them. And as so for the Europa League, it's going to be Rangers versus Feyenoord in the preliminary round. And then in the Europa Conference League, it's going to be Aberdeen versus Frankfurt. So, yeah, some big games. Look at Shamrock Rovers playing Feyborg. Fi Fi could have been us. That could have been us. We could have been playing Feyborg. We should be playing Feyborg. But instead, we're playing Nebde in Europe because we're pish. And we lost game after game after game. No good enough, guys. But we've got a chance now to make it right when we take on Livingston. And this is how we'll line up then against Livingston at Tynecastle. So Craig Gordon in there. It's Cochrane Rolls, Halkett Atkinson, Nerwinhoff, Devlin, Boyce, Oda, Tagawa, and Shankland up front. There really is no more time for failing now. We need to start putting some wins together. And we need to start right here, right now against Levy. They're playing a 5 3 2. They're going to be difficult to break down. We know what they do. They, caught, they put other players in the middle of the park. They sit back, they make it hard to break down, but tonight we need to break them down because if they beat us, they can go above us in the table. That would be a disaster alone, but we can't even be thinking about Livingston. We need to be thinking about the teams in front of us, the teams ahead of us, and that is why we need to win to try and take three points out of them. So yeah, let's go. Stage is set here. Rainy night in Tynecastle, but we're up for it. Livingston will be getting us underway. They'll be going from right to left. We'll be going from left to right. And it's a game that we must respond. We lost 6-0, our biggest defeat of the season so far. How will we respond to that? Will we respond like champions? Or will we respond like failures? Will we respond like losers? Hopefully not. But I tell you what, not a great start here. And already it's a chance for Levy in two minutes in. They've taken the lead. How has this happened? How has this happened? Is Michael McGovern in nets? The ball's went straight through Craig Gordon. I mean, we'll see it again here. It wasn't good. I mean, look at that. We're getting done there by the big man. Craig, what do we need to pay for one of our goalkeepers to make a save, though? All, all joking aside, can one of our goalkeepers actually make a decent save? That's all I'm asking. Nywenhoff, come on, he's got... Tiger with, with him, he's going to go himself here, he's looking for Boyce, edge of the box, Boyce to Oda, Oda now lays off to Cammy Devlin, takes a shot, saved again by George, but Hearts will have a corner, what can we do with it, let's go, ball, can we get a good one in, it's not only bad, Kai Rose is there, almost got onto it, header down to Nywenhoff, it's Boyce, Oda, delivery needs to be good, it's a good ball into the back, but no one there, no takers, could not have asked for a better delivery, but unfortunately the Hearts players just weren't taking it. Halkett wins it deep there, come on. 
finds Oda. Oda to Tagawa, back to Oda. Oh, and Oda puts it wide. Big, big miss. Can't come much closer than that. Oda and Tagawa linked up really well. And Oda's shot just wide of the target. No, for God's sake. Caught open again at the back. Line. What the fuck are we doing? 2-0 to Levy. And we've been nothing short of dog shite here. Levy just patient. Wait for the chance. We've got bodies sliding all over the place. Unable to make a save. Unable to make a tackle, a block. And then pit. I mean, Craig, can the goalkeeper not do so? The goalkeeper, sh the goalkeeper sucks, man. I tell you that right now. That is fucking terrible, man. Stretch your arms out. At least attempt to make a save. Right, we've won that. Come on, Tagawa. Let's go. Tagawa now looking for Shankland. Shankland. Playing it out towards Cochrane, who's going to keep this in. Right, good move here for Hearts coming up. Surely Cochrane has to make something of it. It's Shankland. It's Oda. Devlin. Finds Shankland again. Now it's Tagawa. He's going to look back for Nywenhoff. Can we get a goal for our team? I think we need it. Oda. Nywenhoff. Go! Oh, come on. Good bad play. Good passing. Took our run. Levy worked our chances, created an opening, and we have the goal that might save our season. It gets us back into the game. It's Levy 2, Hearts 1. Important goal. They might not come much more important than that in Callum Nevenhoff. Is that his first goal of the season? I'm not entirely sure, but either way, it's a very important one, and it gets us back to within one just for half time. And you got to wonder. Could we possibly maybe get a second before half time? I'd love to go into the break all level. But we're going to need to try and create a chance in the next five minutes to do that. Tagawa, boys. Chance here opening up for Hearts. Ball now played out to Atkinson. Can Atkinson get a ball into the box? He has to look for somebody. Atkinson back post. It's not great. And it's just a it's a poor ball. No one there. Oda. Oda now to Boyce. Boyce finds Cochrane. Cochrane crosses it in. It's a poor cross. George though makes a miss here. Callum Nouwenhoff almost getting to that. Referee will blow for half time. Levy were all over the place there. Big mistake for George. He's not punished. I think the referee blew a bit too early there. I don't really agree with him blowing, but he has blown. It is half time. We're going to make a change here. I'm not quite sure what we're going to change, but I think we're going to play free up top. I think we're going to go tag our left striker, Oda right striker and I'll even go as far as saying we're going to play Atkinson as a right mid and Cochrane as a left mid and we're going to just go for it guys because we can't afford to drop points in this game. Oda, back to Devlin, Devlin now to Boyce, Boyce finds Tagawa, Tagawa looking for options, looking for somebody. Plays it to Cochrane, Cochrane cuts back, left foot at cross end, Boyce is at the back post, it's been headed away, Tagua will get it back, Callum Nevenhoff though gets forced off the ball, great tackle for Kai Rolls, fantastic tackle for Rolls, he gets it back, still Rolls, plays it to Cochrane, Cochrane now to Liam Boyce, Boyce in towards Atkinson, oh and Atkinson trying to play it through to Oda, now it's Boyce again, Boyce finds Oda, toe pokes it and just comes off the levy player. Not the breakthrough that we needed. And now Levy are trying to get forward. And Levy could be dangerous here. Levy could be creating something. There's a bit of a gap through the middle. Need to sort that out. And it's a chance now Levy could. They get their third goal of the game. Oh my god, they went through us. It's a folly. It's, we took a deflection. We survive. Still Levy with the ball though. Struggling to get it off them. Goffrey against Neumannhoff. Neumannhoff tries to slide in, doesn't get to it. Craig Gordon. Oh my fucking god, Craig Gordon's pish. Craig Gordon is pish. What's he doing? What the fuck is he doing? <sighs> Craig Gordon, man, you are shite. I love you, but you're shite, man. You, you're so bad. What is he doing? I mean, look at this. The defendant's, the defendant's pish as well. But Craig Gordon dives at the fucking way of the ball. Shanklin, come on. Shanklin out to Mackay. Mackay, who we just brought on as a sub. What's he got here? An offer for his boys. Can boys pick through the middle? Yes, come on. Liam Boyce pulls one back. It's 3-2. We did go two goals behind. 
We pulled it back once, now we pulled it back again. And it's a one goal deficit and still over half an hour to go, so plenty of time remaining. We're committing a lot of players forward here. So I do expect there to be chances at both ends. Barry McKay unfortunately picks up a booking. It's a poor ball and Grant will take this and Grant now can maybe go himself. George Grant has to hold the ball up, wait for some support. Grant now to Shanklin, Shanklin still with it. Shanklin spots Oda, Oda can he get it back to Shanklin? No, he plays it to George Grant. Can George Grant open something up here, George Grant? George Grant, oh man, Grant, what are you doing? A ball needed to be better than that. We needed something and we didn't get it. We've won it back though. Oda, Boyce, Boyce lays it off. It's Barry McKay, takes a shot. And it will be a corner with 25 minutes to go. Come on, who's taking this? Oda. Can the delivery be good? It needs to be. Shanklin's in there! Shanklin scores! It's 3-3 free free with 25 minutes to go. Shanklin pulls another one back for Hearts. And is the comeback on? Can we do this? He's flexing his muscles. Hopefully we'll be flexing a win from the end of 90 minutes. Big Shankland showing off that beautiful body. And that's a beautiful header. What a goal. With a forehead like that, you probably can't miss it. And he did not miss it. Brilliant connection. Keeper tried to save it. He only parried it into the top of the net. And now, guys, we're right back in this game. Goals for Neuenhoff, Boyce and Shankland have got his three. Normally, three goals are enough to win, but at the moment, it would only be enough for a point. Can we find a fourth goal? Can we pull off probably our best comeback of the season so far? We need to do something. Neuenhoff wins it. Good tackle. Plays it to Grant. Grant, we've got bodies forward. I said this. We're going for it. We're not going to sit back. We're going to take a chance in this game. We've done that. We've got ourselves back into a position where we can win the game. Okay. Okay, to Tagawa. Tagawa needs to spot Shankland. He does. Shankland's still with the ball. Now there's a chance here for Oda. Good and boys. It's Liam Boyce. Boyce cut. Oh, Boyce has done well. Boyce takes a shot. George makes the save. And it's going to be a corner. Liam Boyce there turning back the heels. All right, Oda now. Chance with the corner. Can we find Shankland? We can't. Oh, but as soon as that, I think it's Tagawa. Tagawa with a header. We're going to bring on Stephen Kingsley. Fresh legs, why not? Make some changes, bring on some players with a bit more fitness. Don't know if it's a good change or not, we'll find out I guess. Boyce can win this, he can win it! And now, we've got Oda. Oda needs support. Can Oda find support? He's looking for Shankland. Shankland chests it down, Shankland shoots! George with the save with his legs! And the, what the hell's the defender doing? Mess at the back! So close to taking the lead. Shankland trying to squeeze it in. It's not worked on this occasion, and Livingston somehow survive, and we're pushing here, we're trying to win this ball back. It's as high advanced as we possibly can, New Levy getting forward. Oh no, but Kingsley, you've just been brought on. You can't, oh Kingsley, what are you doing? For fuck's sake, Craig God, why can't you make a save? Why can't you make a fucking save? We're going to bring on Lowry. Livingston 4-3 up now. Just because our goalkeeper can't save nothing. I don't, no, I don't care. I like, I, I like, Craig, Sander Clark's number one going forward. I've gave this guy enough chances. He can't save fucking hee-haw. And it's, it's, it's not a difficult save to make for there. Mackay, come on. Shankland balling on quite a lot of space here. Shankland's going to run. Shankland through to Tagawa. Saved again. Look how many saves George is making. Seriously, compared to Craig Gordon, who's supposed to be the best goalkeeper in the league. But EA fuck him up with shite stats. Come on, Oda, good delivery necessary. Shankland's in there again. He couldn't win the header, though. And can we get to this? Now and half. Oh, he's almost done enough. Can Kingsley get it? He can, and he need it to. Oh, and the referee get Yeah, fuck you, referee. You would. You buddy would, you cheating bastard. Come on, header. Come on, Shankland. Shankland, run. Shankland, run. Oh, he's tried to control it in mid air. Oh, the hearts are putting pressure on, but we get it back to George. And the, oh, the defence has done okay there. They've managed to play their way up for the back. And time is ticking away. And, I mean, oh, we've won it back here. Come on, let's go. Let's go. It's Lowry. Lowry. Come on, Lowry. Keep on going, Lowry. To Oda. Come on, Oda. Do something. Oda to Lowry. Oh, my God. Yes, Lowry. With the goal. George makes another save. They couldn't keep it the path here. Alex Lowry, though. It is 4-4. With five minutes to go, will there be one last chance? Can we get one more opportunity? You know, if, if Livingston get it, they're going to score. You know that for a fact. Craig Gordon ain't saving shit. We need to make sure they don't get a chance. We need to get a chance. We need to take it. 
because George, unfortunately for us, has been good here. And we're going to struggle, I think, to get one past him. Great tackle for Kai Rolls. And Barry McKay goes down. Where's our free kick? Referee says no. And then we give it away. Fucking disgrace there. Disgrace. We win the ball. We give it away. Livingston again coming forward. Livingston. Oh, no. Do not do, get this. Get this. Slide in. Do not allow them to get a chance. Do not allow them to get a chance. Craig Gordon actually makes a save. Craig Gordon makes a save. Holy crap. Now he needs to float up. And is there a chance here? Is there a chance? I don't know. Lowry with the ball. Lowry plays it out towards Grant. And Grant's going to go. Grant's going to run. Go, Grant. George Grant's still going. It's still George Grant. Can something happen here? Can Hearts make it happen? Hearts now. It is Oda. We need to find... Uh, it's Barry Mackay. Barry Mackay. Oh, for fuck's sake, you're shite, Barry Mackay. Absolute shite. Hit the target. Work the goalkeeper. He does none of that. He puts it wide, and that probably will be the last chance, I think, for us. Unless we can get the ball here forward. Can we get it forward? No, we can't. We've lost it in the middle of the fucking field. And it's going to be a draw. It's going to be a 1-1 draw against Levy, man. Four goals. We scored four bloody goals, and it wasn't enough. What more can you do? We put them to the sword in the last like half an hour. We created chance after chance after chance. 15 shots to their seven. But again, it's not enough for us to win the game. Because for some reason, Craig Gordon can't make any saves. I mean, if you look at all the stats that matter, we dominated them all. We dominated them all. But we just couldn't do it. I mean, Hearts, <laughs> Craig Gordon made one save during the entire game. Don't get me wrong, it's an important save. It's a save that in the end kept us alive and got us a point. But how many saves did he not make earlier in the match that screws over? I'm sorry, but we're changing them. Sander Clark from this point onwards is the new number one. And that is official. Alright, up next, the big one. We didn't beat Levy. We 100% need to beat Celtic. They're going to be going with Hart, Taylor, Phillips, Carter, Fickers, Ralston, Awata, O'Reilly, Yang, Abada, McGregor and Kyogo up front. They've got some of their best players in there, of course, Kyogo, McGregor, Carter, Fickers. But I don't think it's the strongest Celtic team. I think they're missing a few players, most notably Maeda, also Hitate, so... I think there's maybe a chance here for us to do something. And speaking of missing big players, we are missing the biggest player of them all. Lauren Shankland is not fit for this game. We're going to go with Tagawa up front. Sander Clark comes in for Craig Gordon. I am going to keep my word on that as far as I'm concerned. We've got a new number one at the club. It is Sander Clark. Cochrane, Royals, Halkett and Axel will make up the back four. Nywenhoff and Devlin in the midfield. Then Mackay, Lowry and Oda in the attacking three. It has to start here, guys. The comeback, the season revival... It's now or never. It has to be at Celtic Park. Let's start it. I'll get to Devlin. Come on, what have we got here? Let's hit them hard at the very beginning of this game. I ain't going to hit them hard with passing like that. It's a poor ball to Tagawa. I wonder how he'll get on up front. We normally start him out on the wing. But obviously today he's playing through the middle. He's taking the place of Lauren Shankland. And now O'Reilly busting forward. So I think looking dangerous already. Abada. Abada against Cochrane. Abada gets the better of Cochrane. Good tackle, Kyogo, oh no, Kyogo dribbles away, oh and it's off the post, a bit fortunate there, Sander Clark beating again at his near post, we need to stop doing that, I don't care who's playing in nets, we can't keep getting beat at the near post, it's Lowry now, holding it up, trying to play in Oda, and he does, and Oda could be away here, Oda's running through, it's Oda against Phillips, Oda does brilliantly well there, and he gets tackled, but it doesn't matter, he puts it in the back of the net, he scored the goal to give Hearts the lead here, and he just almost snaps his neck in half, but I don't really care, he can die if he wants, he's already put us in front, his job here today is done, he takes it around Phillips, great stuff, and then he gets, oh he gets tackled there, man, I would have went down, but then Joe Hart wipes out his own man, I think it's Greg Taylor, Joe Hart wipes out Greg Taylor, and then Oda is like, thank you very much. That open goal, I will take full advantage. Brendan, can't even believe it. Big Brenda, he's frustrated. He's no happy, but we're certainly happy. We're winning, guys. It's Oda with a goal in the 10th minute to give Hearts a 1-0 lead here at Celtic Park. Brilliant start for us. Can we keep this going? Oh, what a tackle for Oda, but... Unfortunately, Carter Fickers was there to take care of it. Another good tackle from behind, and we're putting in some heavy tackles here on the Celtic boys, pressing them, not allowing them to play their game. 
And that's exactly what you need to do in this situation. Press high. Don't give them any time on the ball. Awata now. Still Awata. He's holding on to it. And we're pushing him back. And he has to go all the way back to Carter Fickers. Now Carter Fickers does a wee 180. He spins around. And we win it back again. Now it's Tagawa. Oda took the ball. Now Oda makes the run. It's going to be Oda versus Greg Taylor. Oda slides in to try and get the ball. And Oda's going to get to this. And he does. And the referee decides that Oda actually committed a foul there in the process. And the goal scorer is getting booked. Not sure I agree with that. I thought Oda won the ball. But apparently not. A good oh no, it's Kyogo. Brilliant tackle for Kai Rolls. Referee though pulling something back for earlier. And there might be a card coming out here as well. I'm not sure what this is all about. It might be Cami Devlin getting pulled forward. It's a yellow card. Um, I don't know why he's gave that there, but he has. McGregor will take it short. And now Celtic looking to make something happen. Good tackle again for Kai Rolls. He pokes it towards Oda. And now can Oda make a run? Oda's got to try and play over Atkinson over the top. Can Atkinson get this? He can. He's been held back, though, by Greg Taylor. He's not going to get a free kick, though. Celtic will win the throw-in because of that, though. But that's a joke. I think that should have been a free kick, the Hawks. Uh, nothing given, unfortunately, though. And we have to make the most of it. We have to deal with it. Shit, it's through to Kyogo. And it's just like that, man. Kyogo with a chance. And it's all came from that fucking... That, that, that throw-in. I don't think it was a throw-in. Celtic back on level terms. I mean, just cut open at the back. Couldn't deal with Kyogo. Kai Rose almost gives away a penalty. Kyogo stays on his feet. And he puts it in the back of the net. And we weren't ahead for long. 29 minutes in. We've had two Japanese goal scorers. And it's one goal apiece. Hearts won. Celtic won. We've gave it away. And, I mean, this could be a disaster. What are we doing? Good tackle there, and then I don't know what that is for Cochrane. He decides he just wants rid of the ball. Hearts falling apart. Hearts just crumbling here in front of our own eyes. Great tackle there for Devlin, but Hearts have to deal with this again, and Kyogo's trying to do something. Kyogo gets a ball, and it's opportunity here. We need to get that. We do, and it's going to fall into the hands of Sander Clark, who will play it over the top, and Barry Mackay will chase, and Barry Mackay will keep this in, and Barry Mackay against Abada... Mackay, still Mackay. Mackay now to Nevenhoff. Nevenhoff plays it back up to Barry Mackay. Mackay against Ralston here. Mackay does well. Mackay still keeps it in play. Mackay to Tagawa. Tagawa back to Barry Mackay. It's going to be Cammy Devlin into the box. Finesses it and it's well weighed. Uh, I expect more from that. From Cammy Devlin. Can't believe Cammy Devlin's missed by that much to be fair. He was free, he had a clear shot, and he just couldn't do anything with it. Halkett heads it back to Atkinson. Atkinson out to Oda. Oda needs to get past Greg Taylor, and he's doing a good job of that. Oda looking for a back post cross. He's, oh, he's looking for Cochrane. Chance here, though. Cal Nillenhoff controls it. Devlin out towards Oda. It's Oda again. Oda, fair distance. Oda tries to put it in, and it's a goal! Edge of the box. Barry Mackay. Taking care of it. It's a fumble for Joe Hart. We don't give a shit what it is. We all know he's crap at goalkeeping anyway. That's why Barry Mackay was in the right place at the right time to fire at home. And once again, Joe Hart costing Celtic at the back. It's 2 1 to Hearts. We're back in front just before half time. Can we hold on though? Can we stay in front this time? We need to. It's 2 1. Free kick to Celtic. This would be a disastrous time to concede two minutes to go before half time. Ball in. Need to get rid of that. We did get rid of it. It's going to be Carter Figgers to collect it. Awata with the ball at his feet. Kyogo's going to try and bust through. Oh, and that's a bit of a contact there. Nirvanhoff gets it away. And Oda's going to slide in. Oda, lucky not to get a second yellow there. I think he slid in. Madman. Cochrane takes it through Ralston, I think, and the referee's going to come over and I think maybe dish out another yellow card here, or maybe not. Just gives the free kick, and can we get rid of this? We need to get rid of it. Kai Rolls should win the header here. He does. It's going to be falling for Craig Clark. Sander Clark comes out, punches it away. Long Larry with a massive header, and it is now 2-1 at the break. That was a nervy moment for heart, but we managed to get into the break with our lead intact. We've not been great, but we've took two chances, and that's one more chance than Celtic have took. A big, big 45 ahead of us. Can we make something happen right now? Will we make any changes? Do we bring on fresh legs, or do we leave it? 
I think we're going to leave it for now. But I'm looking at Mackay, I'm looking at Oda, players that are tired. I expect to see changes relatively soon in the second half, but I think we need to keep it going for right now. Maybe try and get to well, the half an hour mark, and then we'll look at making a few substitutions then. Rolls continues his run. Kai Rolls is away. Oh, he's caught inside. Kai Rolls just couldn't. Oh, no, he needs to get back here. Kai Rolls is way too advanced. He needs to get back into a defensive position. Thankfully, Celtic weren't able to do anything there on that counter. And uh, Kai Rolls is back in defence, but he made a massive run there. Didn't really pay off, but respect for trying it. We're trying to put the pressure on Celtic. We've committed about five bodies forward here. And they've managed to play around us. Jake Halkett trying to stand up strong and sort of back to Iwata now. So Celtic struggling here. Dominating possession, but struggling to break down hearts. And that's what I like to see. We need to keep this going though. We, oh, it's a heavy touch for Ralston. But he's still held on to the ball. Good tackle for Cochrane, but Ralston again still has it now. It's a chance here for Celtic, perhaps, to do something. More than decent passing oh, and Kai Rolls just cuts across Abada. Takes care of that, Ian. And now Rolls will go himself, and he's going to... What's he going to do? He's going to play it back to Sander Clark. Brilliant stuff there for Kai Rolls. Clark now to Halkett. Halkett going to come out for the back. Plays it to Cochrane. Cochrane into Mackay. Mackay, can he play the Ronnie so Cochrane? It's poor, running. but Mackay... Wins a throw in and Cochrane's going to get a yellow really card for his troubles. I'm not sure what he done, but fuck it, we'll take it. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, went right through him. Brilliant. Great tackle. Absolutely beautiful for Cochrane. Now it's Callum Nermanhoff. Back to Cochrane. Cochrane to Mackay. Mackay. Oh, Mackay. That's a couple of times now Mackay struggled to make the pass in the left hand side. Midas get away, but he's not fast enough to keep that in. He's quick, but he's not that quick. And the ball was out now. of play. Alistair Johnson now is coming on for Anthony Ralston. Celtic beginning to make more substitutions. They are going for it. But uh, we're kind of happy just to sit back at the moment and try and see this out. <laughs> Santa Clark, risky ball past Kyogo there, but he, he makes it work. Now it's out to Oda. Oda to Atkinson. Atkinson back to Devlin. Halkett now with the ball. Halkett. Can we pick out Mackay? Take Halkett. Mikai, we need something. We need something to come a bit closer to us. It's not really happening. Kai Rolls now. Can Kai Rolls pick out a Hearts player? He's looking for. He's looking for Devlin. He's found Devlin, but Devlin gets forced out the way by Phillips and a Watanu collects it and Celtic a game with possession of the ball. Atkinson, does he get to that? He doesn't. And no, no. Now we could be in a bit of trouble here. Oh, we slide in. I think we've won that. I think that's a throw in for Hearts. Taylor's going off, and it is defended fantastically here right now. And this is it, 20 minutes to go. We're going to make all five substitutions. We're going to bring on a bunch of fresh legs and try and see this game. We're going to go to a 5-4-1 in the last 20 minutes here of this game at Celtic Park. Can we record our best victory of the season? We're not far away from it, guys. We're really not. It would be an absolute massive win, and let's just hope we can see it out now. With not a lot of time left on the clock. Kingsley. Kingsley to Kai Rolls. Rolls now. Got a chance to bomb forward for Hearts. I don't know if he should be doing this. But he has done it. It's William Boyce. It is Cochrane. And we need that run there. And we didn't get it. Rolls though. Trying to play one over the top. And he wins the throw in. Kai Rolls calls for the ball. Gets the ball. Still Kai Rolls with it. Rolls towards Forrest, and Forrest here is got a bit of support. Will he cross it in? Will he, I don't know what he's going to do. Left foot in, Boyce is there. Boyce tries to flick it somewhere. 79 minutes now on the clock. Celtic pushing, but we need to stop them. We need to push back. Maida's running through. No, no, he's found Kyogo. Kyogo's pass is intercepted, and we get it back to Atkinson. And Newhart still with the ball. Finds Craig Halkett. Halkett then up towards Boys. Boys, can he win this? He can. He plays it at Benjamin. Chance now for Hearts. It's Forrest. Forrest is maybe going to go himself. Oh, Benjamin was through. And Forrest has decided to go himself here. He's got Fargas at the back post. And it's... Oh, it's just beyond Fargas. It's overhead. That was a chance, though. Chance to make it two and see this game out. Or make it three, even. Losing track of how many goals have been scored here. Maida. Brilliant tackle. 
It's not a brilliant tackle, but it stops Maida from getting past us. Therefore, in my definition, it is a brilliant tackle, and I'll give him all the credit in the world for that. But now we need to defend this corner. Is that a free kick even set piece? Atkinson. Kai rolls in the middle. He gets something on the original. He gets something on the second. It's going to be away to Boyce. And now what can Boyce do? Boyce tr trying to get away from Iwata. Boyce has to do something. He's won the throw. He hasn't won the throw, and I thought we won the throw in there. I'm actually shocked that's not been given to us, but. Celtic with possession now, and it's going to be Carter Fickers, and Celtic with not a lot of time remaining here, oh no, don't be doing, no, not now, not now, brilliant tackle for Halkett, he needs to keep stay on his feet though, now and off, it's through, it's a chance here for Celtic, no, Sander Clark with a big save, for fuck's sake, Sander Clark makes a big save, and this wee cunt scores a rebound, and it's not going to be a Hearts win. It's not going to be a Hearts win. Celtic have stolen it. And they die in seconds. I hate that! Ugh. Man, I swear, if, what, why are the teams that it have to be them? Why did it have to be them? I mean, look at this. The defending at the last moment was poor for us. Sander Clark makes a save. And we can't... Oh, no. And surely time's done. Benjamin's going to go himself here. Benjamin just needs to run and hopefully make something happen. Can Benny Benenjami do this? He's got nobody with him. He's got Boyce. Boyce, Boyce still with the ball. Boyce to Fargas. Fargas now to Alan Forrest. Forrest takes a shot. It's blocked. And that was it. We needed that to go in. Alan Forrest could have made himself a hero. Instead, he's not a hero. It's a draw. It's a point at Celtic Park, which is a good point. But it's not a good point for us. Because we needed to win that. Celtic fans are going mental, they're not happy. They fall further behind Rangers. Well, actually, they don't, Rangers through. But there's a chance for Celtic to win there. It was a chance for us to win. We've slipped up big time. We have slipped up big time. And I'm sure if we look at the league table, we will see that it, it does not look good for us. We're still in 8th place. We're on 19 points. I think we're improving. I would go as far as saying we are getting a little bit better. But we're not improving enough. The gap to St Mirren has been brought down to 18 points. We're a bit closer to St Mirren. But we're getting further behind Hibernian. Hibernian are now getting further ahead of us. They are 18 points ahead of us. No wait, they're not. They're um, bad maths. They're 16 points ahead of us. Which is still a shitload of points. Too many points to be exact. But uh, yeah, we need to start winning guys. I think we're unbeaten in... I want to say we're unbeaten in five league games. But it's not enough. Uh, no, I take that back. We lost to Mullerwell. So we're not unbeaten in five. But we drew against Celtic. We drew against Levy. We beat. We lost to Mullerwell. We beat Kilmarnock. Uh, we drew against St. Johnston. We drew against Ross County. There's been quite a lot of draws in there. But it's not enough. We need to start putting together a good run. And hopefully... We can start. I thought that good run was going to happen there against Celtic. Denied for the last kick of the game. It's tough to take. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, that's going to do it. Next time out, we'll all have the Edinburgh Derby. That's a massive game. Hibs, like I said, are 16 points ahead of us. We need to win our next two games. If we can beat St Mirren and beat Hibs, we'll make sure the gap is at least a minimum 13 points. And then we'll just attack the second half of the season. And uh, hopefully we can begin to claw the gap back. But as of right now, guys, we are 8th in the table. We're 19 games into the season, so we're officially at the halfway point. We've got 19 points. We're averaging a point a game. It's not good enough. It needs to improve. I think it will improve. The big question is, will it improve enough? Hibernian's next two games are against Rangers, the league leaders, or second in the league, and us. If Hibernian lose the next two games and we win the next two games then we would bring it down to 10 points. We also take on St Mirren, who are sitting in third place. If we want to get third, then we need to beat St Mirren too. So, it's crucial. These next two games, we must win. We need to beat St Mirren and Hibernian to end the year. Hopefully we can do that, and hopefully you guys all tune in to see us do that. Anyway, guys, that's good day. Should have beat Celtic. Tough to take. At least we didn't lose. But it's a draw against Levy. It's a draw against Celtic. Points are not enough. We need to start converting these draws into wins. Picking up single points, week in, week out, ain't going to get us up the table. 
for May, but it's not going to get us as high as we want to go. We want to be in the top six. We want to be pushing for those European spots. And at the moment, we find ourselves a decent amount of points adrift, and that has to change, or else we're not going to be playing European football next season. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and until then, peace.